Hey, it's Mark Lanier with another video thought for the day. So this week, I'm looking at time management and, and considering it off of a list of some statements that were sent to me by my buddy, Skip McBride. Time management is very important. I, I spoke yesterday about Paul writing to the Ephesians of making the most of time. Um, uh, something that occurred to me today was don't boast about tomorrow because you don't know what a day may bring. And that's in the Proverbs, it's Proverbs 27, verse one. Don't boast about tomorrow because you don't know what a day may bring. Today, we know, I know, uh, generally what I'm expecting to happen, but expecting it to happen and it actually happening are very different things. And so I'm looking at this list and I'm thinking I'm at least going to live uh, deliberately today so that regardless of what happens, I'm in control of, of me. And so I've looked through this list and I've thought, what's here that's useful to me? And one of the bullet point items is what are the essentials? I like that. What are the essentials? What is it that I need to grasp today that I need to to hold on to, that I need to seek diligently? The answer that's given here is God, family, health, and work. I might modify that a little bit. Well, now, obviously, God. God is something that I want to seek today, and, and God is certainly an essential for today. And family, essential every day. But I'm going to put up there also relationships because we have relationships outside of our family that are absolutely essential. They help define who we are. They help us when we're in need of help, but also they give us an avenue to be there for other people. In other words, relationships aren't something that are simply good because of what we get out of them. They're also very important to us because of what we can put into them. So I'm looking at this sheet. What are the essentials? God, family, health, work, yes, relationships. I want to add that. Now, that brings up another bullet point. It is get over the fear of missing out. Are you familiar with the term FOMO? It's usually written with all capital letters, F-O-M-O. -O. It means fear of missing out. And I like the point of get over the fear of missing out because the fear of missing out can become something that drives us to do things that frankly, we don't need to be doing. We don't have the time or, or we, we don't have the, the need. It's just not that deliberate life choice we need to be making. And so as I'm thinking about time management, I'm actually doing one last bullet point I'll reference and then we'll so, close this off for today. Must spend time thinking, evaluating, and deciding. That's part of not worrying about FOMO. And that goes back to what the Proverb 27 one said, I can't boast about tomorrow because I don't know what a day can bring, but I can live deliberately before God, valuing things that are essential. And that's what I'm gonna try to do today. And then I hope to see you tomorrow, but this is your video thought for today.